Uh, have you got it out of your... What, what, what? Brit, no, kids, take it easy. I have an actual act to do. Shut up for a minute. I wrote a letter to Santa Claus. We have our nice little bastards of the open stage, our nice little flagrantly rude and or uniquely uh, Tourette'sy kind of folks that like to think that we're a comedy troupe or aspiring improv people or just this thing other than rudeness. That's all we are. So we got together, we sat down, we wrote a letter to Santa Claus, and we decided we were going to read it up here to all of you. A lot of cowards. <laughs> Beyond that, allow me to read to you what will be my letter to Santa. Cowards. <laughs> Dear Santa, you know it's that lovely time of year again where our thoughts turn to kindness, to love, to joy, and a material fucking gain. Because you know, all that Santa is is he's really just a corporate mascot cooked up by Coca-Cola in the 1920s to sell more sugar water. Chew on it. But thanks to the power of human imagination and faith, you've taken on a somewhat more corporeal form these days. And because you have become slightly more realistic, so a little bit more real, a little bit more on this side of the verge of fiction, I thought now would be a good time to bring up a few of our vetches, vets, and or general problems with your entire racket. Because honestly, guys, it is a racket. Let's face it, if anybody else offered up the simple idea of, you know what, here's two tenants, naughty, nice, very specific, very easy to follow, right? Because naughty is, uh, I mean, listen, by my scale, guys, I've been really good. I didn't take any bad drugs. I didn't kill any hookers. At least nobody found any of the bodies of the hookers in the desert. So by my idea, I am not naughty. I am reveling in my newfound goodness. And you see, nobody cheers, nobody believes me. You all know that I am obviously naughty. I, on the other hand, have a slightly skewed moral code, so I can't identify your tenant, Santa, you evil fuck. Who are you to judge me? I mean, honestly, I've already got one bearded old white guy judging me every time I bone. And honestly, the thought of one old bearded white guy watching me fuck is enough. I don't need a secondary judging. You know that? You, you could bend your back there a little more. You know, not what I'm going for. It's Christmas, kids. Take it easy. Now, mind you, we all try to behave. All the kids do their very best for that one month out of the year where they actually remember Santa's a thing and has been paying attention all year because, you know, he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows of all the foul things you've done, so be good because why? Because our fucking family has to get together for one month out of the year, try to all sit down at the table together, pretend like we enjoy each other's company. Meanwhile, Bob's stepkids from his fourth marriage. By the way, Bob, why are you still coming to dinner? Didn't you divorce my sister last year? Anyway, we all call the meal a success because grandma's in her reveling senility managed not to piss in the aquarium this year and we call it a win. <laughs> now, I did kind of mention he seems to have these powers, you know, these special mystical powers, able to float down a chimney, able to rise back up it. Now, if that is a propaganda machine, I don't know another one because honestly, this is a lie that even Fox News or MSNBC couldn't sell to me, that this fat fucking bastard can make it down the small intake air duct of one Central Park West, manage to not block off the air airflow to the hermetically sealed 35th floor, thus killing all the millionaires of Central Park West. Actually, Santa, if you could do that, I'd... Anyway... So you know what? Okay, great. You can make it down the chimney because obviously you can teleport. But how do you get back up the chimney? Because I hear that in a whisk, I watched him as he dashed back up the chimney. Wait a minute. Fuck you, Santa. You can either teleport or you can fly. You don't get two superpowers. Fuck you, man. Pick one and stick with it, all right? Now, a few other vetches. You seem to have what seems to be the world's largest manufacturing base with an unlimited supply of labor because you know those children, no, no, sorry, elves, sorry, elves were just doing all of that work for you. You know, you kind of make the Chinese labor principles look kind of kind and sweet. I mean, you make labor laws in the teens look healthy for American children. Now, I thought they'd get a better laugh than that one, but apparently not. So... I'm gonna, labor laws are funny, fuck you. 
All right, I'm, I'm going to go on to just one last conspiracy theory because up until now, everything I've talked about has been fact. And if you question me, go fuck yourself. You know I'm right. Why would you be talking to me right now? Because if that was a heckle, you need to try harder next time. At least insult me if you're going to heckle! All right. This last one might actually be controversial. I'm not sure if I might insult anybody, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. Santa... It needs to. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I, 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 apparently I just felt the need subconsciously to just not even let me say this. Okay. <laughs> Nambla. <laughs> if, if there is a shrine that pedophiles build for their hero, Santa, your statue is going to be immense because there is no other man on the face of the American pop culture scape who is revered as much by pedophiles as you, sir. I mean, you give the chance of every little pocket pool playing pedophile to just have his dream job every year as he sits and listens to Mikey tell him how much he likes to watch two men wrestle. This is not a good thing, but meanwhile, we let all of our kids jump up in the fat man's lap because no, you know, Macy's has such thorough background checks. <laughs> well, anyways, kids, one last thought for you. He seems to have superpowers, right? Right, right? He seems to have an unlimited manufacturing base, right? Unlimited budget from everything I can tell. I think he's in the wrong business. This is a man who has the ability to teleport anywhere in the world and instantly teleport out. Do you know what the correct line of work for him would be, right? Selling coke. No. 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 International hitman. Just a wink of the nose. And poof. He's gone. Merry Christmas, one and all.